hand me the swabs? Now, after we are done with your fingernails, we're going to check your body carefully. Now, what we're looking for are foreign hairs, ones that might belong to your attacker. We'll test for sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, it's too soon for an HIV test, but I suggest you follow up with a test in six months. And you should get a full checkup to be sure that the stress of the attack doesn't trigger an episode of lupus. How you doing? You holding up okay? I'm okay. Are you on the pill? If you're concerned about pregnancy, I can prescribe the morning after pill. That will eliminate any chance of your having conceived. Do you want that? Yeah, I want that. It's over. It's all over. No more. Marnie, you did fine. Just fine. I'm proud of you. Miss Saybrook? I'm Detective Kolchevsky. Could I ask you a few questions? I, I, I knew, I knew, I knew she was she was out of orbit, uh, especially after breaking up with Suede. And I, I, I knew. I mean, boy, I, I really knew from my past experience that she was going to put herself in in, in in some kind of danger. And ex except for trying to get Suede to reconsider, I mean, I really didn't do a, a thing to help this woman. Andrew, Nothing. Marty getting raped is not her fault and has nothing to do with her putting herself in danger. Now, I know you try to control the universe, but you can't. The job's already taken. Andrew. What? You are the person that Marty came to with this. She hmm. needs you. Not you distracted. Not you self-critical. Just you. Right there and totally focused. You're right. I know. Absolutely right. Okay. I pray to God. I pray to God that she presses charges and that it gets a conviction against the bastard that did this to her. I pray to God. Okay. okay. Do we have any idea who did do this to her? What happened to you was not your fault. It was not your fault. You're not obligated to go to court. We're not going to make you do a lineup. There's no legal pressure on you at all. If you feel you don't want to proceed with this, you don't have to. I don't. You don't. Do you feel you want to talk about what happened? OK. I want to explain. There might be some intimate questions I have to ask you. Detective, uh, just call me Claire. Nothing could be more intimate than what they just put me through in here. Just go ahead. Well, why don't you tell me in your own words? You don't have to start with the rape. Maybe you want to start with what happened earlier last night. And if at any time you feel you want to stop for a while, just say so. We've got all the time in the world. Haven't we, Sheila? Yes, we do. A friend asked me to go to a party last night. And I wanted to get away from life, I guess, so I went. You know, school's out and everything, and so, um... I had a lot of steam to let off. Everybody did. I guess, I guess I got pretty wasted because I ended up in a, in, a, in, a, in a guy's room. I don't remember actually how 
I got in there, but um, I know I wasn't alone in there. He locked the, the door. He. I tried to get away from them. Them? They held me. They held me down. And they were, were too strong. They were so strong. And, and 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 I couldn't get away from them. Marty, were you raped by more than one person? Marty? Marty, do you know who raped you? about who did this to me. I don't want to answer any more questions. I don't want anybody else putting their hands on me. I don't want anyone going over me with a fine tooth comb. I want to go home now. No problem. But I do not want you to go home alone, OK? Now, I know Andrew is still outside, and Cassie's with him. Now, do you want me to go ask them? I'm sure. They will see you home. Do you want me to go ask them? Fine. Okay. This is my number. You can reach me at any time. I've got a beeper. And we can continue this discussion whenever you feel like it at your convenience. That's if you feel you want to continue. Remember, nobody's putting any pressure on you. The same as Sheila, I'm here to do whatever is best for you, nothing else. We're here for you. Thank you. We're here. Hardy, I'm sorry. No, just don't tell me you're sorry. Excuse me. Marnie? Call you. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. 